Alright, I, uh, I've mentioned a few times about using electrolysis to clean the rust off of metal parts. Um, I've got a chance to demonstrate it right now, so I figured I'd, uh, figured I'd make a short video and show you how to set it up. Um, went to a yard sale and got a flat iron. Um, it's an old school way of, of tending tending to close. So I've got that I've got that in the bath. I got a copper copper wire attached to it and wrapped around it uh, just so that there's a good connection. Um, <coughs> I've got uh, got this in an ordinary plastic tub there's nothing there's nothing magic about it it's just a plastic tub there's about two and a half three gallons of water in it and then I put uh, some washing soda in it um, put about in three gallons I put about six tablespoons full mixed it up so it's so the water's cloudy uh, there's two pieces of two pieces of steel stuck in the water. Those are sacrificial anodes. Um, I got them connected together with a piece of copper wire. And then I've got uh, I got them clipped to the side of the bucket just to keep them uh, um, just to keep them from sliding around. Got an ordinary trickle charger, battery charger. It's set on 12 volt lowest lowest amperage center setting which is 2 amps. Uh, Hook the positive cable to your sacrificial anodes. Positive goes to the anodes. Negative goes to your part. Because electricity goes flows from positive to negative. And the whole purpose of this is to strip the steel particles off of their sacrificial anodes and put them onto your part and and that's going to loosen up the rust and make the rust flow back to your sacrificial anodes so it's it works in a complete circle so you just plug in plug in your battery charger Check your connections. All right, I got uh, got bubbles coming up around the anode, so pretty soon we're going to start seeing bubbles come come to the surface uh, next to the part. This is a slow, gentle process. Um, it's much better for cleaning metal parts. Um, than from using um, acids because acids will uh, they'll go through and they'll attack the um, they'll attack the softest parts of the metal and then you'll what started off as a little blemish is going to turn into a great big pit I don't know if you can see it see it or not there's a tiny little wisp of of, uh, of bubbles coming to the surface right there. And those bubbles will increase as the as the action uh, continues. There's another there's another column of bubbles coming up right here. So it'll uh, what it'll do is it'll uh, it'll establish a, an eddy current inside the bucket. You can all I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it's already the whole surface of the water is turning in a counterclockwise direction. Um, and uh, I'll just have to come back. This is a real slow progress, so uh, uh, in about 12 hours I'll pull that out, brush it off um, with a nylon brush, and then stick it back in. Um, you just uh, you knock the crusties off, and then you, uh, you let it get down to bare metal. Uh, this will come out looking like a brand new piece of, uh, brand new piece of steel. 
but um, yeah, this is the this is the process. Simple. It looks, it sounds a lot scarier than it really is.